Hey there folks, Lord Thunder Monkey back here again with you doing another mod review. This time we're looking at a Scania truck. A nice flatbed for hauling some vehicles around. And as always, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, give me a thumbs down. Either way, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I can do better or what I can make worse. Uh, if you really like the video though, subscribe along. Check out some of my other mod reviews as well as my Let's Plays. And uh, tell all your friends. Big shout out to the modders as well. Thank you guys for adding these these additions to the game. They keep it fresh and new. Uh, I think if it was just a vanilla game, we'd get more with it after a while and quit playing. So everybody owes you a big thanks. I am going to be critical of your mods. Just checking them out because I really like really, really good things. Because I like to do them with my Let's Plays. I like unique things as well uh, to keep things fresh. So uh, it's by no means because I'm good at modding or have a clue. Uh, I'm just give being critical so that everybody knows what they're getting into so let's check this out in the shop it is under trucks right where it belongs it is a Scania 112 E TT we do have a couple adjustments we can adjust the color for seventeen hundred dollars and we can adjust the rim color for another two hundred dollars pretty much standard there the wheel setups are standard or wide tires I threw wire tires out on this I throw big tires on everything because that's not my money. Um, it's $145,000 straight up out of the shop. It's got a 510 horsepower motor, cost of $535 a day with a 950 liter capacity fuel tank as well as uh, 52 mile an hour speed. So let's go ahead and check it out up and close and personal. From a distance it looks real sharp. I love the low fog lights. The big old grill brush uh, bull bar in front. The headlights look I don't know, a little flat. I like the air horns though on the side. And then the, the chrome bar that, that holds the motor on and the, oh, you can look at that reflection. What's the red thing in the background? There's a red thing in the background. You see, I see that? There's a thing there that I don't see. But that's okay. It's got a reflection. That's cool. Um, There's something wrong with that front with that top step. It seems to be sunk in a little far. The wheels are nice. You can get up here and you can see insides. You can see the exhaust in there. And the springs. Fuel tank. Got a nice flat bed with, with tie downs on it. Look at that. That's beautiful. Big fat three wheels. Oh, yes. Gotta love it. Oh, you've even got a ball hitch on the back. So you could drag, you know, if you were high, uh, dragging like a small combine or something you could you could hitch up on here collisions are good it's got the hydraulics on there hydraulic activated ramps I love it look at those lines those are perfect chained up oh nice job with the chain and the the only thing you could do is add some ridges in here to make it look like these actually screw in and out otherwise those are really really nice got yourself a toolbox there Got the exhaust chute out there, so let's go ahead and check it out inside. Oh, I love the interior. I love the steering wheel. That's fancy. Makes me feel high end. Very, you know what? Actually, a very high end looking truck. Got a couple throw pillows. Place to throw some some stuff in there. Get your CB radio. It's a little boxy, flattish in here, but it's got some extra little little fun things too that that are fun. So who knows? Maybe there's going to be an update to this as well. Overall, I like this truck so far. The, it's got nice mirrors. So, oh yeah, fires right up. Flashes look good. Got us some blinkers. There we go. Nice brake lights. Look at the way that guy lights up. That's beautiful. Holy biscuits! That is bright. Oh, and it's even got got the the front wheel, front rear wheel axle steer. All right, how do we lower these down? X is it? Yep. I know. Unfold truck. Change drop down. Engine comes up in in, in idle speed. It drops those ramps right on down. Very nice. Okay, we just gotta grab ourselves a trailer here real quick, um, as well. Let's, uh, yeah, sh uh, let's grab this one, just cause it's simple. Sure, whatever, buy it. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna grab this guy, 
and we're going to drag it on home real quick. Call Doctor Who, have him tell her to teleport us in. That was awful nice of him. We're going to drive this guy out up there. And then we're going to go hitch onto that uh, trailer. Just hoping it's wide enough. I may have picked the track that's a little big. Oh no, no, we're gonna pit. Look at that. Oh, for sure. Probably would have backed it up here in normal circumstances. Yeah, and the collision's right there at the front. You can't get any farther. Back it off just, just a hair. Put the brake back on. We're gonna hop in this guy. Saw the weight drop down when we, when we dropped those guys into, into action. Chains go back in place. And that's sturdy up there. I don't see any wiggle out of it at all. Whoop, wrong, wrong direction. Oh, it's got a ball hitch as well as a pin hitch. Yeah, you can haul anything with this guy. Nice, I missed that. Missed that coming around. So let's go ahead. Let a rip. 510 horsepower hauling that guy. We're gonna head on uphill. And that steep incline pulling that trailer and that heavy tractor. I mean, that's not terribly steep. That's still decent, though. What's it gonna slow down to? 30? 29. 29 is about as slow as it's going to go, so that's 29 mile an hour, and we can tip it. Okay, that was one of the things I wanted to know. So 29 miles an hour, it will tip. <laughs> Rocked it right on over. So yeah, it's definitely a really nice mod. You know, realistic with the, with the, with the way it tipped over. It's uh, uh, not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to drive it like that. These hydraulics on the fold down seem to be slightly out of place. Top back in here. Where are they? What are they supposed to be doing? See, they extend out there. They're extending. They're just out there now. Hmm. They were up uh, up before, so yeah, that's slight. But did it just fix itself when I jumped back in the cab? Yep, it automatically fixed itself. That's not like being being out of the cab when I do that. Let's see what happens when I unfold them this way. Oh, that's interesting. I have no idea why that is. The hydraulics work fine so long as they stay in the cab. If you jump out, they get all freaky deaky and end up in weird places. As you can see, all those bars now are right where they belong. So. Yeah, real nice mod. Maybe a few modifications that need to be made to make it perfect, if you will. But overall, really, really nice. So if you guys like this mod, check it out. Add it to your folder. Uh, don't drive aggressively. It is realistic, and it will jump your tractor right on out. But it'll hitch anything to the back as well. So thank the modders, as always. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Lord Thunderbucky. Catch you next time.